Alrighty there. Yeah, just got back from, uh, where did we just get back from? Where have we been? Swan. We just got back from Swan MX. Just rolled into Ponca City MX for the Moto Playground 2023 event. And then from here we'll go to Oak Hill and then get some time off. Um, yeah, trying to put together some elk hunt video content from my solo archery backcountry elk hunt. And uh, haven't put anything together from Alaska since since the uh, salmon snagging video. I've still got some more content there. I'm going to try to put some stuff together, but literally just been on the road. It's been absolute chaos um, since since uh, the start of, before the start of elk season. Since January, been chaos. So anyway, sitting here in the RV, going to try to put together some clips for you guys and hopefully hopefully show you some uh, beautiful scenery, you know, some incredible creation, and then. Uh, maybe maybe a dead elk or two before it's all said and done so anyway hope you guys are blessed let's go check out some colorado scene and uh see if we can get some elk action bless you guys about a half a mile straight down to find the water. So I'm going to head back up and get out of here as quick as I can. I like this area. I don't want to be in here when they start moving.
Well, no love on that first setup. I sat on that one for a really long time. Just had a lot of confidence in there, and plus I was trying to let the thermals make their decision. And with the cloud cover, the thermals are still struggling to make a decision, so I'm going ahead and start moving. It's about a mile. Um, it's really only about 800 yards as the crow flies, about a mile as you hike to another drainage where I got a lot of action last year. It was a lot later in the season. It was the 24th or 5th, something like that. Actually, I shot a bull about 75 yards from where I'm standing right now last year. And right after I shot him, it started raining. It washed all my sign away and I lost the bull. Lost a lot of sleep over that, but part of the game. I call it a game, it's part of life. And uh, I'm so grateful to get to live it the way I think is uh, divine. To uh, learn how to let the land feed you and not depend on United, I guess. Just found a bear bed. It seems like I find them like this pretty often here in this area. You'll see an area that's very clearly been bedded in and they don't travel far to poo. They just poo. Just right on the edges of the bed. I don't know if that's a marker territory or marker or what that is, but nonetheless, I'm, uh, it's black bear country. I don't worry too much about black bears. I'm in a pretty good zone here. I'm fixing to make a call. Get up here another 50 yards. It's day two of phase two, the second second wave of uh, chasing elk here in Colorado in 2023. Uh, slept in again this morning, two days in a row. Uh, it rained all day yesterday, and everything I've got is soaked. My shoes absolutely dripping wet still. I did have a dry pair of socks that I brought with, so I put them on. So excited to have dry socks, but that's fixing to change in about... 30 seconds when I put these shoes on. So I'm gonna hike back to the pickup today. I'm only about a mile and a half um, Straight line to the pickup so I can get there pretty quick. I've got boots that are a little more Adequate for the conditions. So I guess I'm gonna hike back get dry boots and um, Yeah, keep on keep on trying to figure them out They're They're not they're not responding to calls. So uh, At all so I'm kind of converting over to more of a, a still hunt type approach, trying to uh, just move quietly through the timber slowly, 
glass and looking for any kind of an anomaly that might not be um, a log land there. It could actually be an elk bedded or any kind of movement. You know, you know how it is when you still hunt. You just uh, methodical, and uh, it's not necessarily my approach. I like to call, but got to figure them out and got to do whatever I got to do to make it happen. And uh, so the process is head back, get some dry shoes, and uh, I might even exchange backpacks. This one is saturated, and I don't have a rain fly for this one. So uh, the other pack I got is really small. Uh, don't really think I can haul camp out in that other backpack but um may do it anyway so all right well that's the dealio i'm uh i'm chasing elk and uh not not very successfully but i am so blessed to be here like <laughs> i don't apologize for being moved I, I just I'm just blessed man it's crazy that I get to do the things that I get to do and even even be miserable doing it it's it's um it's a part of the it's a part of the gig and uh, I think sometimes the misery we let take the take the joy from us and I don't know all I can say is I'm excited to put these all of a sudden I'm excited to put these wet boots on and let that be a part of of my of my hunt so Man, life is uh, life is such a blessing, even even the tough stuff. So, revel in life and uh, be blessed. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna go hunt. Bless you guys. Not sure how well you can see on the GoPro. Turn it around here and you can maybe see the trail. I was in a really big hurry way down to a wallow down here. And uh, in my haste, I forgot the flashlight. So I get to hike back to camp in the dark, which I'm not too worried about it, but I do have my cell phone if I need some flashlight action from that I can crank it up but moral of the story don't forget your flashlight it just makes life better getting out of the timber at night bless you guys feeling of uh, walking up on your bull walking up on your years worth of food for your family it's pretty surreal I guess it's, I would liken it to uh, gathering up a paycheck, I suppose, um, but a little different. Thank you, Lord. Felt like he went down right here. He, Shot him about 80 yards from here. I didn't get the GoPro out this morning. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
who have worked hard. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. A little six by five. Big bodied. Didn't get the GoPro out this morning. I, I just I just felt like I needed to uh, get to work and try to uh, put meat in the freezer, so that's what I did. Really, really cool encounter with him. Bugled, bugled one time. He, he bugled back on top of me, just immediately on top of me. I bugled again. I, I moved about 40 yards, bugled again. He bugled back. Both times he bugled, he chuckled like crazy. It was just beautiful. Deep throaty bugle. Um, he started off at what was to my right. Pretty quickly, I seen him straight above me. About 80 yards. I cow called. He turned and started coming straight at me. Something happened. He didn't win me. He didn't see me. I didn't call but one time, but he turned and went back up the hill, turned and came around to my left. I looked over. Things were quiet for five minutes. I looked over and I seen him uh, 24 yards to, to my left. I stopped him with a cow call, hit him a touchback. I had, that was the only option I had was catch the back of the lungs. And... Um, Yeah, he went 30 yards from there, 40 yards, and stopped and gave me another shot. Um, after a couple of minutes, I got another shot. And uh, I felt like he dropped right in here, but I waited for about an hour before I came down. Uh, and there he is. I'm four and a half miles from the pickup. It's gnarly, gnarly terrain in here. Um, but glory to God, I'm healthy. I'm a man. I'm fixing to strap some meat on my back and start packing it to the pickup. Thank you, Lord. Bless you guys. Tag is punch for uh, 2023, and there he is. One, two, three. Uh, where's the other bag at? One, two, three. Goodness, four. All right. Well, time for pack out. Pack out's no joke. It's steep. It's raining, of course. So everything's slick. You can see it's it's just tangled, matted mess everywhere in here. It's blow down central and uh, packing a hundred pounds on your back through this. And where I got to go, it drops super vertical. Like it's steep, steep. So, anyway, got work to do. Let's get out of here. Bless you guys.